In the social media space, you always hear this adage, you have to work hard to be successful. You probably heard it from your moms and dad growing up. You got to work hard to be successful. So Alex, today we're going to tackle that subject. So when you hear that, that item of you have to work hard to be successful, you know, your mom probably told you that growing up. What, what did you derive from that statement? So what I understood was putting in a lot of hours at work. And I know that might sound cliche, but that's exactly what my stepdad did. That's what my mom did. I mean, 12 to 17 hours a day of just work. And so that was my take on it was you have to bust your butt every single day at a job to, you know, make sure your paychecks are bigger. And I saw that with in the work environment, too. That was everybody's idea of working hard. And that's, and that's on par for what, you know, most people, most parents say work hard, work hard, work hard. You know, I'm from, you know, up north, born and raised. You know, most people worked in a plant, you know, doing double shifts and, you know, working in the unions and doing all that, you know, extra OT. That's par for the course. Hell, it's even par for the course now. So now that you had a little time away, when you hear you got to work hard to be successful. What is what is your concept of it now? So I laugh because my family will tell you I don't do anything. <laughs> that I just right. magically make money. And mm -hmm. it's because they consider work only what you're doing at your job. Anything you do on the side is just side hustle. It's just, uh, oh, that's not work. That's just you. Like my mom and Kirby loves my mom. She will literally, she's literally told me, you don't work at all. You and Kirby just go online and touch a couple buttons and make money. <laughs> like She thinks we just print money from the computer or something. Like, but they, and I hear that from, you know, my dad, my mom, uh, you know, cousins, uncles, aunts, you know, all sorts of people in my family that just don't understand the task of, you know, investing or what it means to invest. And in my eyes, I think no matter how physically enduring your job could be, whether it's construction or mechanic work, I understand that work is hard. I mean, we even work with, you know, construction workers, you know, I mean, you see how hard the guys work and we've done physical labor. We understand what the work is, but the sacrifice and mental strain and stress on your mind that is involved with investing, I think, and I, I, I won't even say, I think I know is harder because I've seen even hard, tough dudes that work at physical jobs, not want to make those same sacrifices because they just want to go to work, they want to collect their paycheck, go home, you know, and enjoy their family time and enjoy their family life, which is fine, but they don't want to go to work, work a hard day, come home, and then tell your tell your whole family, we're not doing anything for years because we've got to save all of our money. And we have to live in this small little home. They want to provide for their family, want to give them a comfortable lifestyle. And I understand all that, but you know, the sacrifice behind investing, I think, is the hardest part of, you know, work. Yeah, I'm gonna take it. A, I'm gonna take it a step further. Um, I, you know, me, I'm, I'm always here to crush people's dreams. Um, what your parents tell you of you need to work hard to be successful, the statement is true. The statement is true, but how you go about it is not true. Understand, it's 24 hours in a day. You can maybe work 18 of those. Hell, you can work 24 of those for maybe about two two days, three days, and then that's it. You're limited to 24 hours. You do have to work hard to be successful. But you don't have to work physically hard to be successful. You have to work hard to accumulate. And this is the thing that people hate to hear, but it's 100% true. This is what separates the top 10% or top 5% from the rest of the world. 
the top 5% understand they work hard. They only have 24 hours in a day. So they use their 24 hours in a day to figure out how to extract 18 to 16 hours out of multiple people's day. That is the work hard part. So case in point, let's just keep it on a rudimentary level. Let's use me. I'll just use me for instance. Alex, Alex the same way, but I'll look like the bad guy. I work hard at finding real estate deals. I find the real estate deal. I close on the deal and then a tenant's in the property. I set the rent so the tenant has to go work 40 hours, 50 hours, 60 hours a week to afford to pay the rent. And then I do that at scale on multiple units, multiple doors. So now I have 30, 40, 50 people working 30, 40, 50 hours a week to afford that rent. But my work hard is to work hard to find a way to extract money out of everybody else. And don't think that this is just landlord base. Look at Amazon. Amazon create products for people to pay for. People have to pay for them by going to work to pay for them. So they didn't find a way to get millions, hundreds of millions of people to work to pay for their products. I mean, you can look at any institution. You can look at the GEs. You can look at the Whirlpools. You can look at any businesses out there. They create products and they spend their 24 hours a day to focus on how to extract money out of people to work to make that happen. You can look at banks, you can look at debt collectors, you can look at any avenue out there. That's what the top 5% do. Because the top 5% know they only have 24 hours. If they work 24 hours, they will not reach the level of wealth that they're trying to achieve. The only way that they will reach the level of wealth that they're trying to achieve is if they extract hours away from other people. That is the secret to working hard to be successful. But if you're just going to work a nine to five and you're going to put 15, 16 hours in a day, that is what creates the rent race. Because this is what happens. The person that works physically hard and works, you know, 15, 16, 18 hours a day at the W2 job, they work the time. So they say, I work hard. I have to play hard. So they believe that they deserve to spend more of their money on things that they want to do. And then that caused them to revert back to working harder to keep up that lifestyle that they have to do. That's what, you know, the, the normal, the normal framework of it is that we've been taught when we is, you know, younger, you got to work hard, but it puts you in the rat race. Cause now you have to work harder to maintain that lifestyle. So now you didn't, you didn't bought a better car. You didn't bought a bigger house. So now you got to work hard and work all the overtime just to maintain it. Instead of working hard to figure out how other people have to work harder to pay for the products and goods and services that you provide so you can have that better lifestyle. So they got to worry about the rigors of working 12, 16 hours instead of you. So that is the main concept. And we was talking about another video about what the thing that I learned from the person we not going to mention is that was a big concept. It's only 24 hours in a day. So you got to extract everybody else's hours to get to where you're, where you want to go to. You can't base your wealth. You can't create your wealth off of other people. So same thing in an investment space. When you invest in a stock, you buying something at a very attractive price, but people got to put their money in there to do it. How they come up with the money that's on them to invest, to make that product grow. But you have to study and use your hours to find out how to find attractive investment to make other people that other people will buy in the future, but they got to spend their time and hours to create the money to invest in it. That is the secret of working harder to obtain success. But you will be in the rat race if you think you're going to work 16 hours a day. Because I know many of people, many of people close to me that work the factory jobs, that work so many double shifts, triple shifts all their lives. And then now they're in their 70s and 80s and they don't have a penny to show for it. They don't even have a house to live in. They renting, you know, sleeping on their kids' couches, what have you. Because the more they work, the more they think that they deserve stuff, the more they think that they deserve stuff, the more that puts them in a hole to make them have to go back to work. And then they look up, they wake up, they're 70 years old, and they don't have shit to show for.
So understand what working hard means. But Alex, that's that's my view on working hard, working hard for success. Yeah, and I agree with it. I I really do. I mean, when you are so when you're dedicating the majority of your time to just a task at your job, you're limited literally on your creativity. There's only so much you can do behind the scenes outside of your job because of your lack of time. If you're working 12 hours a day and you're sleeping eight hours a day and you have four hours and those four hours also consist of you driving back and forth to work, you're running out of time on what you're actually going to be able to do for yourself or using that time to study and find, you know, the right investments to put your money into and just all sorts of things. So, I mean, I, I really think working hard physically holds you back from more success because it's taking time away from you. And and I'll close it with this. So let's let's look at a small number. So let's say you have 10 rental properties, right? You have 10 rental properties and you raise the rent 50 bucks in a year. 50 bucks in a year times 10, that's 500 bucks. 500 bucks times 12 months, that's $6,000. That's $6,000 increase in income in a year that other people working for. But year over year, people can't get a $6,000 increase from the W job that they work for. That's just simple math. I mean, of course you can multiply the numbers and do things like that, but $50 increase, that's 6,000 bucks a year. And it, you know, an increase in income that you created from yourself, from other people working, not you working. Only thing you did was increase the rent. Look at that. It's amazing how things shake out. Yeah, absolutely. With all that being said, guys, if you liked the video, hit the like button, leave us a comment down below, share this video, subscribe, and we will see you guys on the next one.